Alright, so continuing from where we left off on exporting a Dynamo graph to the generative design tool for Revit. We're back in Dynamo again. We'll go ahead and close Dynamo since we're done with that. And we'll go to the Manage tab, Generative Design Panel, Create Study. So what this will do is it will load the window. You need to have a AEC collection subscription for this, of course, or else you'll see an error. It'll load the window that then exposes all of the Dynamo graphs in that documents location that we covered before. So any graph in here will be exposed in here as a workflow that we can use along with the thumbnail as well. So we were working with this optimized desk clumps uh, Dynamo graph. So it's really important to keep in mind. I don't think this is apparent to everyone. To some people it is. Uh, you need Dynamo graphs to use this tool. So it won't just run, you don't make things happen unless you know how to use Dynamo or have someone who knows how to use Dynamo. That's something I haven't seen made apparent quite yet. And I just, I think people need to say it more. You need to use Dynamo in order to use this tool. So these are backed by .dyn files. That's exactly how it works. Uh, so within this window, we have a few options. Optimize, cross product, which gives us every possible iteration, random options, or like this, which gives us things that are similar to what we choose. In our case, we'll do, we'll do randomize, and we'll just randomize the aisle widths, and we'll deselect render fast geometry. That's more of a constraint that I have built in, but we'll just leave that deselected. And we'll just randomize the aisle width and the desks in a row. Let's do let's do something low for now, like five solutions. A seed lets us generate different options, so you can do any number and recall that generation as well. We'll keep it low for the video, so we'll click generate. A little longer than a few minutes later. So once the tool loads up, it will start loading thumbnail previews of the options that it's generating. Uh, so in our case, it did the five iterations and it's presenting these to us now. Uh, so it'll load your thumbnail. Uh, you can maximize this window a bit if you want. And you can navigate through each option and see its information. So some of those parameter values you can start to see. So you can see that this one's not a very dense solution because there are more aisles around the outside. We can click on this other one and see the percentage as well. So that will kind of iterate through and give you some options. Real quickly, if you look at the thumbnails, I can navigate and see that I, I kind of like where this one's going. We have the desks flipping correctly at this point. And then given design guidelines, you could come in, use this, and then remove opposite ends or things like that. So there are other options as well. Once again, this is an exercise to see how a dynamo graph from about a year or two ago does work in the new tool. So once you like an option, you can create Revit elements. This specific video won't show that. That's how you create a study to be able to use it. And you can actually see your old studies within this browser too. So we'll go ahead and cover how to distribute this to other people to run here on the next one.